you hear a startled sound and you go running just to see your child bouncing down the stairs and landing in a heap at the bottom. You go running to their side as you panic. According to Dr. Gary Smith, the director of the Center for Injury Research and Policy at the Nationwide Children's Hospital, despite a drop in the number of incidents, a child in the U.S. is rushed to the ER once in every six minutes for a related injury. These injuries range from concussions and brain hemorrhages to the miles of bumps and bruises. Um, according to an article on CNN's website entitled Doctors, Still Too Many Stair Related Injuries Among Children, 3% of stair related injuries end in hospitalization due to concussions and brain hemorrhages. So these aren't just due to the children falling, but often it's due to the parent carrying the child and the parent falling. Dr. Smith recommends that parents stop multitasking. If you're carrying a child up or down the stairs, you should have one hand open to have on the railing at all times. Even better, he suggests that you leave a child in a safe place and go up and down the stairs by yourself. To prevent these injuries, there are several things that we can do. Handrails and homes on the stairs should be functional, not decorative. And baby gates should be hard mounted at the top of stairs, not pressure mounted. Smith also advocates that engineers consider redesigning houses from the beginning with gates already installed and uniformity of the stairs. Although the, the rate of ER visits has dropped at one every six minutes, it's still too prevalent. Parents may think it's safer to carry their child, but sadly this leads to more serious injuries. There are safety measures parents can make, and with careful thought and design, engineers can also prevent these injuries. Fortunately, as I ran to my daughter's side, she was fine. A few bumps and bruises, but she was playing less than an hour later.